Yeah, I've already been here. <laughs> I've already been to the governor's mansion. Let me, god damn, let me turn down, or what do you just call it? This window explorer is just lighting up my face. Buenos dias. Mr. Duncan Walpole of England to see the governor. I believe he is expecting me. Si, señor Walpole. Entre, por favor. Okay. Yeah, um, I've already been here, you guys. Not you guys, but these guys. Because I'm talking to them. These guys should all be fired because I, I, I snuck up on top of that building right there. Right there. And I, and I pressed B super hard on my controller and I synchronized the viewpoint. On there. And I stole some treasure. So that's two. And I stole an animus fragment. But they don't know about that one. So it doesn't matter. It's about fucking time. It's about fucking time this happened right here. He's all of our bad guys. Good morning, sir. Would I be correct in thinking you are done? I am indeed. I thought as much. Woods Rogers. A pleasure. The same. I must say, my wife has a terrible eye for description. I'm sorry. My wife. You met her some years ago at the Percy's Masquerade Ball. It's not good. Ah, He's ill, dude. He's, this she called you devilishly handsome. Obviously a lie to stoke my jealousy. <laughs> no. Julianne, our guest of honor has arrived, Mr. Duncan Walpole. Just ah. uneasy small talk. Ugh. Julianne Ducas. <laughs> I hope your conversion to our order is an honest one. I have no love for assassins, but even less for liars. I have not come to disappoint. He's been in this series for a long time. That voice actor I could just tell. The old man isn't ready. I can just tell he's been in this. I think we have to complete this challenge right here. You've got my two best pairs of matched pistols, Duncan. So handle them with care. If I had eight, I'd treat each as my own son. Pull off a few yeah, shots if soon. you like. Get a feel for it. <laughs> so I once oh, there you go. Just like that. Nine like that. On his person. They were a boom in battle, but in the visibility. Sadly. Quite. I like the kick, yes? I long for the day that one firearm carries four bullets, not the opposite. Did he just did he just bring the future? Or did he just invent it? I have a friend in England who likes to meet Julian. James Puckle. He's working on something extraordinary. Magnifique. Okay. Need to happen. Need to happen. Alright. Here's a simple no lag. Try to strike every now I get everything. Before this hourglass empties. Remember, hit every target within the allotted time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, we can't go over there. It's messed up. Bam, dude. There you go. Let me just let me reload. Let me reload first. Duncan, where are your wrist blades? I've never seen an assassin so ill-equipped. Ah, damaged sadly beyond all repair. Quick, huh? quick, just like that. He knew what he was talking about. Have your choice. Where did you find all these? Ooh, hello. I did not find them. Hello. I took them. These are souvenirs. Get used to it, man. Oh, it looks so sexy. That's why I got it inked. That's forever. This is it. This is it. Like, Two blades. most is likely this dies with me. Custom, I. Duncan, will you indulge us with a demonstration of your... Techniques. Well, uh, we must. We put together a training course in anticipation of your arrival. Damn. It would be a shame to leave here without seeing you in action. Yes, of course. Well, I mean, if there is time, I would gladly uh, show you what I know. Here. Yeah. You see. This uh, this Duncan Walpole guy seems to be a, a big talk-up, but Edward fucked him up like he was nothing. Simplest. I think 
grandiose, just quick and clean. Show us another technique. Okay. I disagree. I'll be down to skip all that. The assassins have trained you well, Duncan. You chose a perfect time to leave them behind. At great risk, I imagine. Betraying the assassins is never good for one's health. Well, neither is drinking liquor, but I am drawn to its dangers all the same. <laughs> and what is your business here, sir? Are you an associate of the governor's or a pending acquaintance like myself? Guns, blades, cannons, grenados. Anything that may kill a man, I am happy to provide. A smuggler of sorts. Yeah. And how is your wife these days, Captain Rogers? Is she, uh, here? In Havana? I trust she's well, but I wouldn't know. I'd been in Madagascar some 14 months hunting pirates. It took some work to dislodge the criminals there, but we managed it. In future, I hope to use these same tactics throughout the West Indies. And how did you deal with that kind? Very simply, most pirates are as ignorant as apes. I merely offered them a choice. Take a pardon and return to England penniless, but free men, or be hanged by the neck until dead. Oh. I imagine Nassau would be your next target. Very astute, Duncan, indeed. Just best of luck. clever. Yeah, see, look at that. See, he says best of luck. He's fucking taunting him. He's taunting him, dude. Grandmaster Torres. Mr. Duncan Walpole. I love it. Has arrived. Edward is so arrogant, it's amazing. See. You were expected one week ago. Apologies, Governor. My ship was set upon by pirates. We were scuttled. I arrived only yesterday. Unfortunate. Forgive my caution, but were you able to salvage from these pirates the items you promised me? Uh, yes, sir, I was. Now we're talking. Incredible. The assassins have more resources than I had imagined, but not nearly enough to deter us. It is a pleasure to meet you at last, Duncan. You are most welcome. Dude, he's just so well dressed. Come, gentlemen, we have much to discuss. I guess that's how a governor would dress, but he's just so well dressed. You know? And he's like so sinister and snakely, you can just sense it on him. Old ass, decrepit ass. Last, and in such continental company, England, France, Spain, citizens of sad and corrupted empires. But you are Templars now, the secret and true legislatures of the world. Please hold out your hands. Mark and remember our purpose to guide our wayward souls till they've reached a quiet road. Guide all wayward desire till impassioned hearts are cool. To guide all wayward minds to safe and sober thought. Look at, the of look at Edward not just give a shit. Let our work now begin. <sighs> you know what's fucked up is we have to. Uh... Decades ago. Pickpocket all three Templars. The task of locating in these West Indies, a forgotten place. And they're no dumb as rocks. We're literally just gonna pickpocket all of them, dude. Like no problem. Oh, I can't pickpocket them. This guy? That's messed up. I have endeavored to locate this observatory, a place rumored to contain a tool of incredible utility and power. It okay. houses a kind of armillary sphere. If you they're like. fucking idiots, dude. They're Templars. What do you want? Locate and monitor every man and woman on earth, whatever their location. Yeah, Google has that. It what it it's called GPS. Such a power. With this device, there would be no secrets among men, no lies, no trickery. Only justice, pure justice. This is the observatory's promise, and we must take it for our own. Do we know its whereabouts? We will soon. 
For in our custody is the one man who does, a man named Roberts, once called a sage. It has been 45 years since anyone has seen a true sage. I remember the sage. Can you be sure this one is authentic? We are confident he is. The assassins will come for him. Indeed they will. But thanks to Duncan and the information he has delivered, the assassins won't be a problem for much longer. All will be made clear tomorrow, gentlemen, when you meet the sage for yourselves. Until then, let us drink. Oh, slick. Slick pickpocket, dude. Let us find the observatory together. For with its power, kings will fall, clergy will cower, and the hearts and minds of the world will be ours. Let's toast. World domination. I'm down to do it. Rest well, Duncan. Tomorrow the treasure fleet arrives, and with it, your reward. After which we will discuss further schemes. I look forward to it. Excelente. Meet me down at the docks first thing tomorrow morning. Governor Torres requests your presence at the docks near the Castillo. First thing tomorrow morning. Yes, sir, Captain Redundancy. Why they have? I don't understand why they had two different, two separate, separate things going on there. But uh, we got some money right now. The next day. The next day. I'll probably just do the actual SpongeBob joke instead of saying it Good myself. Morning, Duncan, just over here. Edward. Hello, Edward. No. I found a man to purchase my remaining sugar. Huh? Quite a coup, I must say. He just called you Edward. Oh, that's the merchant who sailed me here. Out of caution, I gave him a false name. Ah, well done. It's not wrong, we'll dude. We'll catch up on it later. Very punctual, Duncan. This way. Very slick, dude. Here he is. A man both Templars and Assassins have sought for over a decade. I am told your surname is Roberts. Is this so? You recognize this. Dude, look at his busted-ass face. According to old tales, the blood of a sage is required to enter the observatory. We have the key. Now we need only its location. Perhaps Mr. Roberts will be eager to provide. This. They're just doing this out like the middle of the open like this. They're just gonna they're just gonna do it like out in the open like that. I mean they hang people now in the open, but torturing somebody out in the open is like a little bit different, I think. Such a fuss over one man. Is the observatory really such a grand prize? See, see me do that. The observatory was a tool built by the precursor race. Its worth is without guys measure. chilling like that. Precursor race. Oh, I see. Ooh, nice outfit. I like those assassin outfits, man. You just hear it too. Ooh, that's so ominous. I, I was not. No, too many complications along the way. A pity. But the much you delivered with the blood vial will see that job. Aye, that's the idea. I don't like this route, Torres. We're exposed. Something is wrong. Stay close, Grandmaster. I feel it too. Do not let them get their hands on the sage. I, Whatever. They just goes. know the assassins are there. Can't see them though. That's the interesting thing. Assassins. Ooh. I'll take care of that guy first. Eat gravity, bitch! Oh, okay, never mind. Nope, okay, still not a never mind. Protect 
There you go. Show off those real assassin skills, Edward. And not Duncan Walpole. Oh, I just got tackled. Oh, shit. Didn't have the sense to kill me, though. Just tried to tackle me. What a fucking idiot, dude. Oh. Oh, he just made him kill. Oh, shit. Damn, dude. Stop it! Is all loopy and shit. Tackle them from above. Okay, let's get this, dude. I got this. You're a nimble one. I'll give you that. Can't use the lift now. That's fucked up. Come on, dude. Let's go. Let's get this in one try. I, I always try to do that. Hang back and make this easy on both of us, mate. Shit, I missed my opportunity, I think. No, oh, I got him. Oh, you like that? You like that, boys? Oh my god, that was tough. Black dog, quiet. That was crazy. The prison's grandmaster. Double the watch. Damn. Well, I'll be buggered. What an active day we've had, chance. See, he's set on all sides by our enemies. We must be more cautious. I do wish I could remain to see our drama done, but I must avail myself of these winds. That was tough. And sail for England. By all means, Captain, speed and fortune to you. With luck, I'll return myself a governor. And with my idiot king's blessing, no less. Adios. As for you, Mr. Walpole. I consider this the first payment in a long-term investment. Gracias. Obliged. I would like you to be present for the interrogation tomorrow. Call around noon. Yes, sir. The go he's just so polite. Like, you can't help it. The governor's just so polite and well-mannered, dude. You can't help but just like him. Even though he's a conniving fucking snake. That tackle from above. Pff, total bullshit. But... Fuck you, I got it, and that was tough.